Hi, my name is Sean. It's been a while since my last video and many things have happened. The number one thing that has happened is that the OTRS AG has discontinued the product OTRS Community Edition. For the last 20 years, this product has been the market leader in the open source service desk market. In light of this loss, Zanuni has been created. Zanuni has many improvements which the community have been waiting upon and many communications and contributions have flooded into the project from different sources. I'll highlight these in future videos, but today you may just want to check out the latest software release from Zanuni. In order to help you get started faster, let me walk you through installing Zanuni on a Windows 11 workstation using Subsystem for Linux. See the video description for a link on how to install Windows Subsystem for Linux, as well as all of the commands that you can use to cut, copy, and paste into your own installation. As a disclaimer, I'd like to say that this is not a valid way to run a productive system. Even in small or medium use cases, I recommend installing it on the recommended hardware. Once you've run the installation command for the new image, you will be waiting for a few minutes until you can initialize the system. Then you just need to enter a username and a password. After installing the system, you'll be able to sign in as root. Then you can update your system and then you can apply the necessary packages from the package manager. Here we will do this in one single command. These commands will be available for you as previously stated in the video description notes. We will time lapse through the installation. This will take, depending upon the speed of the machine, of course more or less time as your internet connection allows. Once all of the packages are installed, we can then download the software. We will use this link from the download source. We will change directories to the opt directory and then download the file via the command line. Once the file is downloaded, we can then unpack the file and then remove the sources. The next thing we want to do is we want to create a user for the installation. The user needs to have the home directory of our installation as well as be a member of the secondary group for the www data. Once we've created this user, we will be able to then link the directory for use in our application and in the configuration of the web server. Then we will make a copy of the default configurations so that we can then set the permissions on the file system. Once this has been done, the next step that we're going to take is to configure the MariaDB. Then we will configure the Apache and all of the required modules. Once this is done, we will then start the services. And once the services are started, we need to ensure that we set a password for the MySQL or the MariaDB instance. This password is required because it's not possible to use a null password when configuring using the installer. And by navigating to localhost forward slash OTRS installer.pl, we can start to use the system as soon as we have configured it by accepting the license agreement selecting MySQL, even while we have a MariaDB installed, selecting our password and checking our database settings. At this point, remember to write down your database password. This will also be seen in your config.pm at a later date. We can choose next and wait for the system to install all of the necessary tables for operation. Once this is finished, we can click next. We have the chance to make some basic system configuration changes, one of which is to change your system ID to something random. You can give yourself a new system FQDN if you need to, but generally speaking for a test system, we don't need to do this. I do recommend, however, setting the check MX record to no. Once that's done, we should go ahead and skip this test if we don't have email settings to configure. For these purposes, I will say skip this step. Then we'll be redirected to the screen which will give us our password to log in as the system 
user ID one rooted localhost. And we can do this by entering rooted localhost as the username. And the password which we've copied out of our setup. There are some basic settings that should be taken care of right away just to make sure that your system functions properly and you can have some tests without actually having to set up an email server. The first one is the send mail module. Choosing from the send mail module by editing this setting, you can choose the do not send email directive. And I also recommend navig navigating back to the system configuration tab. We can search for switch to user and switch to customer. By just typing switch and then clicking this, we can filter down to the setting to switch to user and switch to customer. Enable both of these settings. This will allow you to directly jump to a test user or a test customer direct from the front end. Once applying these settings, you can click here, this link to deploy them. Once they're deployed, you can immediately start using your system and testing all of the features which are available for you for use. We hope that you have fun testing the new product, Zanuni. We hope that you feel accompanied and accustomed to the look and feel because it does have a very similar look and feel to the OTS product until this point. And we look forward to having you as new users within our community. Thank you.